Welcome to Africa Motor Tours and Transfers. We are a tour operating company based in Johannesburg and today we will get you to enjoy a full day Pretoria Soweto and Apartheid Museum day tour. Our day tour will start by a visit at the Fuatreka Monument which is located on the northern part of Pretoria and the history of the Afrikaner is situated in this famous monument. The planning of the monument was done by the Afrikaner Cultural Organization and on the 16th of December 1949, the monument was introduced. In 2011, the Fuatraga monument was declared a national heritage site as a clear indication that changes made were deemed positive. We will spend an hour at the monument and the second attraction that we will pass through is Paul Kruger House Museum. This was the last house Paul Kruger lived in, which today is a museum displaying life during the days he stayed in this house. Kruger resided here between 1884 and 1900 before he left for Europe in exile. The house was built in 1884 by Charles Clark and it was designed by an architect named Paul Claridge. We will spend about 15 minutes here. And after getting a bit of history, again we will pass through Church Square. Church Square, also known as a market square, is located at the heart of Pretoria Central Business District. Its founder was Mathenas Pretorias and he wanted to use it as a churchyard and also a market square. There is a statue of Paul Kruger elected at Church Square to celebrate his contribution as a president in South Africa. This is also a famous palace of justice where Nelson Mandela was sentenced to life in prison. After a few minutes at Church Square, we will visit the famous Union buildings which form part of the logo of the city of Tswane, the administrative capital of South Africa. The sandstone building started in 1910 to commemorate South Africa's Union status obtained in that year. Unfortunately, you cannot go inside the buildings themselves because the Union buildings form the official seat of the South African government and also houses the official seating of the South African president. We will spend about 30 minutes here taking photos and learning about the history of this place before heading back to Johannesburg for our next stop which happens to be the Apartheid Museum. Apartheid Museum has a clear-cut history on what happened during the Apartheid era in South Africa before freedom in 1994. The museum is divided into three exhibitions which all have valuable information on the Apartheid history. After getting equipped on the dark era in South African history, you will pass through the famous Orlando Towers which is located at the heart of Soweto. We will take some photos and get a bit of history about these towers which also offer bungee jumping facilities. These towers have a history that will be shared by our tour guide and also why it is important on the Soweto Township tours. After a few minutes of stopping to get pictures and also get a bit of history, we will visit the Hector Peterson Museum. The museum is located in Orlando West, two blocks away from where Hector Peterson was shot and killed during the school protest in 1976 on the 16th of June. Today, the 16th of June is recognized as a public holiday in South Africa. Here you will get to learn the importance of the 1976 youth struggle and unlike apartheid museum tours which focuses on the prison tours, Hector Peterson Museum focuses more on the youth uprising in 1976. This museum is a very important tourist attraction on Soweto guided tours. You are going to spend 30 minutes here and head to the next visit which is Velakazi Street. This street in Soweto was named after Dr. Benedict Wallet, a writer and educator who wrote the first poetry booked and published in Zulu. The only street in the world that can boast having had two Nobel Award winners as residents and it is one of the best places to visit when doing so way to guided tours. The next and final visit of the tour will be Mandela House, located on Vilakazi Street, Orlando West, Soweto. It was the residential house where Nelson Mandela lived from 1946 up until 1962 with his family. 
This is also a place which Nelson Mandela returned to after being released from prison in 1990. And the house is a true depiction of Mandela and his life with his family. And since 1999, it has been declared a national heritage site as a monument into a long-fought struggle against the apartheid regime, showcasing that even in the smallest and insignificant of places, light and courage can be found. Our full day tour runs every day from 8 in the morning to 4 in the afternoon. You can book it online or on our website and the contact details will be on the next slide. Thank you for joining our virtual tour. We look forward to seeing you soon.